Hey guys, welcome back to the Coffee Talk series where I take an interesting topic and give it to you in the time it takes to drink a cup of coffee. So grab you a cup of coffee, make sure it is piping hot, add your sugar or cream if you please. And if you're not into coffee, then maybe a nice herbal tea steeped to perfection is more your speed. But if you don't do coffee or tea, maybe a nice fruity smoothie is what you do. And let's get ready to sit back and get this topic which is the commercialization of Juneteenth. So, grab your drink and let's sit back and drink this hot coffee. Juneteenth, celebrated on June 19, marks a pivotal moment in American history. The day in 1865 when the last enslaved African Americans were informed of their freedom two years after the Emancipation Proclamation. Originally a day of reflection, celebration, and community gathering among African Americans, Juneteenth has evolved into a broader cultural event. With this increased recognition, however, comes a wave of commercialization that summary may dilute its profound historic significance. In recent years, particularly following the widespread protests against racial injustice in 2020, Juneteenth has gained significant attention, not only as a day of celebration, but also as a potential commercial opportunity. Major retailers, brands, and corporations have begun to acknowledge the day through special sales, themed merchandise, and marketing campaigns. For instance, companies like Nike, Twitter, and Lyft have made Juneteenth a paid company holiday, signaling a recognition of its importance, but also potentially commodifying the date. The primary concern with the commercialization of Juneteenth is that it risks overshadowing the day's historical and educational value. Juneteenth is not merely a black 4th of July, but a day that commemorates a significant moment in liberation and the end of a brutal chapter in American history. The commercial narrative can often reduce this rich history to mere slogans and sales, detracting from the opportunity for reflection and education. Now, it may sound silly to y'all, but I remember a time when there were not Juneteenth sales, you know, but I don't remember a time when there wasn't a Father's Day sale, which falls close to Juneteenth, or a 4th of July sale, and I'm not discounting those days, but the importance of Juneteenth is being lost with the commercialization. As corporations adopt Juneteenth 
for marketing campaigns, there is a shift from its original focus on community and freedom to consumerism. This shift can trivialize the day's significance, turning a solemn occasion into another opportunity for consumer spending, similar to what has been observed with other holidays like Memorial Day and Christmas. Juneteenth is not just another paid day off, which, by the way, most African Americans, unless they work for the city or for the federal government, have to request the day off on general principle. So it's it's not even a paid day off for many of us for the right reasons. And now we have all of these sales that come around on this day, which really are detracting from its true significance to us as African Americans. The involvement of large corporations in Juneteenth celebrations, while potentially beneficial in terms of awareness, can often lead to a loss of authenticity. Celebrations that once centered around community gathering, local history, and genuine reflection may give way to corporate sponsored events and merchandise that lacks connection to the historical roots and cultural significance of the day. Now, I know it's nice to walk into a Target store nowadays and see a huge Juneteenth celebration marketing in the store with clothes and merchandise. But really, what does any of that have to do with the actual day and what its significant meaning is? Now, don't get me wrong, we still have beautiful, reflective celebrations in places where there is a large population of African Americans, or significant at least. You know, let's not forget that the huge celebration that actually happens in Galveston, Texas, where this day comes from, and across the state of Texas, along with other parts of the country, like in Leimert Park in Los Angeles, Inglewood, California, you have the huge celebrations in Chicago, New York, D.C., Atlanta, New Orleans, and the list goes on. But yet and still, this commercial presence is taking away and detracting from the true meaning of Juneteenth. Here are some things that we can do to counteract the effects of commercialization. Schools, universities, and community centers can emphasize educational programs that explore the history of Juneteenth, the Civil War, and the broader struggle of civil rights. Understanding the depth of history associated with Juneteenth can foster a greater appreciation that goes beyond commercial interest. Local government and organizations can focus on community-centric events that prioritize historical reflection and cultural appreciation over commercial gain. These events can include lectures, exhibitions, and performances that tell the story of Juneteenth and its relevance today. As Juneteenth becomes more widely recognized, it is crucial to navigate this fine line between celebration and commercialization. By focusing on education, community, and meaningful acknowledgement, society can honor the true essence of Juneteenth while ensuring its profound historical significance is not lost to commercial interest. I hope that you guys enjoyed this discussion about the commercialization of Juneteenth on Juneteenth. I am right now going to go and do my reflection on Juneteenth 
Also, I am going to start working on the next topic. So that means it's time for a new cup of coffee for me. I will leave some of my resources down in the comment section description of this video. You know, if you really like this, go ahead and leave me a comment in the comment section so we can continue this discussion. Now, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that bell and subscribe. Also, follow me on all my other social media. You can find me on TikTok and Instagram as DCD Purple Diva. And follow me on my other YouTube channel, The Purple Diva Den, where I do spoken word. I will see you guys in the next one. Until then, peace and blessings from the West Side. I'm out, you guys. Bye.